Hello everyone and thank you for watching my channel. My name is Mel and I'm an independent consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. I am a fashionista in the business and I am here today to let you guys know some of the top ways to get more viewers into your live videos. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, this is something that I do notice with some of my newer consultants. Everything that you do on your live is going to matter. Your energy, your background, your lighting, all of it matters. So don't think for one second like, oh, you know, it doesn't make a difference one way or another. Yes, it does. And also, please try not to get hung up on the number of viewers that you see watching your live as you're live. Because let's say you may have two people there watching you. Or sometimes you might be live, myself included, as an elite in the company. Sometimes you're going live and nobody is there. Trust me, everyone's journey on this road is going to have a point where you don't have as much, you know, participation or people coming to watch you. That's perfectly fine. You don't want to pay attention necessarily just to that number. You want to pay attention to who may also watch it on the replay. I will venture to, you know, suggest to you when you finish going live, look at the number of views you got. Let's say you got four views. Let's say you got 40 views, whatever. Go back and look at that number a week from now. I promise you it's not going to still say that number. It's going to have increased because your live is going to go up on people's timelines. Maybe when you were originally live, you know, somebody was at work or they were asleep or whatever. So again, don't get hung up on the number. Get hung up on what you're here for today, which is learning new tips on how you can grow your viewership on your lives. So again, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you wanna pay attention to is your energy. Are you bubbly? Do you have good energy? Are you smiling? You know, Are you being warm and welcoming with your customers? When you do have people come in, are you saying, hey, so-and-so, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. You know, Let me know if you see anything that you like. So again, the more you're welcoming, welcoming your customers in, the more they feel your good energy when you're talking about the jewelry, your enthusiasm about the pieces, they're going to want to buy into it. Let me give you guys an example. So let's say I'm showing this coil bracelet. I could very well just say, all right, this is a coil bracelet. If you're interested, you know, this one is going to be number one. It's really pretty. Or I can say, oh my gosh, y'all, look at number one. This one is fabulous. Look at these gems and those crystals in there. This is gorgeous. Can you believe this is just $5? This is going to be number one, guys. This is going to match so many outfits. This is so cute. I can see you rocking it with your other, you know, pieces. Make People want to buy your jewelry. Think about QVC or other people that you see selling in the business. They typically have good energy. They are excited about the jewelry. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite pieces. This is amazing. If you make people fall in love with the pieces, they're going to want to buy it, okay? So again, make sure that you have good energy. And when you are showing paparazzi's fabulous accessories that you are buying, getting them, drawing them into wanting to buy, 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 all right? So again, watch your energy. The next thing is your lighting, okay? So I'm going to do a demonstration here. You guys can see me well right now. Let's say if my lighting was like this the whole entire time. And I'm trying to show you that same bracelet. And I'm going like this. Let me turn it down a little bit more. I'm going like this and I'm showing you guys the bracelet. You can barely see it. You can barely see me. The lighting is kind of bad. Or let's say, hypothetically, too much light is shining through. Or, you know, too, it's, you have to make sure you have good lighting. So what I have in front of me is a ring light, okay? You can get these on Amazon. Basically, it is, I have um, the kind of ring light where you can prop, it has a holder for my cell phone in the middle and then a ring light above it. So you just go to Amazon, you type in ring lights, you pick the ring light that you feel like you want to get. You also could get, LED. I've heard people say all kinds of lighting, so don't hold me to the exact type of lighting. Try what works for you. Some people may not like ring lights. They might like the LED light, so they might like this kind of light or that kind of light. I would venture to say just try different things if you don't have the money to splurge on that right now just start practicing in your house with lamps that you might have maybe try taking the shade off of certain lamps maybe try turning your overhead lights off and just maybe if you're doing a live during the day sitting where natural sunlight could come in on your face just make sure that whatever time that you're going live that you have really good lighting and that you also have this is another tip make sure that you have a background that is not um, distracting to what you're trying to do when you're showing your pieces. 
So for instance, if you are selling jewelry and you may have children, I would venture to say maybe try to go live when your children are not like running around playing in the background. They're screaming, they're yelling. You have your laundry in the back. You have th your dinner that you're you know, feeding, your family on the table back there because people are going to lose focus on the jewelry and they're going to be looking at all the stuff that they have in the background. So as you guys can see with me, I just have like a little sparkly background here. I have my little fur cover on my seat. You guys can focus on what I'm talking about. So if you want to put your jewelry behind you, that's perfectly fine. You can put a black backdrop. You can go to the thrift store, to the dollar store, wherever. You can get just, just something plain wear. Or it could be sparkly or it can be anything that you want it to be. But make sure that it ties into your brand and that it makes you feel beautiful when you are showing this jewelry. But again, I want you to, whatever it is that you have behind you, think about if you were a customer and you were shopping would that be something that would appeal to you? So always keep that in mind when you are selling this jewelry, when you are going live, think about yourself as the customer and what you would want to see if you were uh, watching yourself, you know, doing this show. If you were watching somebody else doing a live, what's something that you would be interested to stick around to watch? I know some people say that they like having jewelry behind them because when people are scrolling, they can stop at the jewelry. So I've honestly done both things, guys. I have literally had backdrops that were tons of jewelry i've had my jewelry displays behind me i've had the you know colorful pieces i've done my themes where i've shown like let's say if it's the holiday time i might have red and green pieces behind me and then i've also done just the standard kind of either blingy gold or the sparkles or what have you with this pink so i've changed it up different times so i don't think that one necessarily works better than the other that's just my opinion but for you if you want more viewers on your live you want to just make sure that you make it appealing to draw people in all right the next thing is you want to make sure that you have a clear camera and so this is going to be important on the camera phone that's on your particular cell phone or your computer or what have you but if you don't have the clearest camera invest in getting a micro lens so this is something that you can also get on amazon it's fairly inexpensive i think the one that i used was maybe 12 dollars again you go to amazon and you type in micro lens and it's really just straight to the point you just get it and you know it should be able to show your pieces to more detail so if your camera cannot focus on the pieces, you can just get the micro lens, put it over top of your camera. And there are videos on YouTube where you can learn how to use a micro lens or which is the best one to get. But basically it's gonna kind of zoom in on your pieces so that your customers can kind of get into the detailing of all those pieces, okay? Next, to get more viewers in, you wanna watch what you're wearing. Are you wearing something that is appropriate or that will appeal to customers when they're scrolling their timeline? So for instance, for me, I choose sparkles, I use patterns, I use you know something that's gonna just draw in attention. For you, you may say, I wanna dress and wear this or that or the other. A big pro tip that I wanna suggest to everyone is, dress for your lives as if you are going to be photo shoot ready so if any point somebody just pulled out a camera like a family photo shoot and said hey i want you to jump into this photo shoot you would be ready so that means that you have if you want to wear makeup or not you can put on lip chapstick lipstick whatever if you want to put on eyelashes if you don't if you want to whatever you feel if you want to polish your nails up a little bit if you want to dress in more casual wear if you want to but just make sure it looks presentable you don't have to be all glammed up every time but you want to make sure that you don't look like you just rolled out of bed and just hopped on a live i mean i've seen people go live pretty much in pajamas or you know something very super casual to gym wear to all kind of stuff i mean you see all kind of things on live but just make sure that it ties into your brand and it's something that you feel will appeal to your customers so when they are scrolling they say oh she is about her business or he is really doing a daggone thing let me stop to watch and see what this is all about so for me again i try to keep in mind you never know who's watching and i want them to feel welcome i want them to see me and say i want to be a part of whatever it is that she's doing so whether it be i want to buy jewelry from her i want to join her team and be a boss and a rock star with her whatever it is i want people to feel that my clothing and my appearance is something that's welcoming all right so that's just something to keep in mind the next thing that you want to do is ask people to share your video now this has worked like a charm for me especially when i first started in a business i was getting tons of viewers because ahead of time i was asking my friends hey 
can you do me a favor? Can you share my video out? If you can get 10 people on my show, I'll give you a free piece of jewelry. Or, you know, if I'm going live twice a week or three times a week, if you can just jump in and just comment, you know, just kind of keep me company for the first few minutes. If you can invite it, share it to your page, share it to, you know, wherever, I would really appreciate it. Or when I go live, can you send this video to, you know, our cousin's chat or this and the other, you know, just to kind of get those views up. Because if they know ahead of time that they're going to support you, you don't have to worry about trying to stress out for views at the beginning. They are already know you have your tribe on there let's say five or six family friends you know co-workers whatever they're in there they're ready to share and they are ready to support you so you can say hey and you can give them incentives like I said you can say hey if you can do this I'll give you a free piece or I'll let you shop on my website and get something that you like or whatever so again make it worth their while and then just get them on board to support you by sharing your video that will always most, I mean, well, it will always kind of one of those friends or so they're going to get other people in there. So it always works like a charm when they know ahead of time how to support you. Another thing that you could do is advertise ahead of time. So don't just jump in and go live and expect for people to show up. You may want to advertise it on your page. So you may want to say at the beginning of the day, hey, everybody, I'm going live tonight at six o'clock. Please come and join me. I'm giving away free prizes. Can't wait to see you. Maybe by noon, you may say, hey, everybody, just as a reminder, I'm going live tonight six o'clock here is a preview of three pieces that you'll see tonight see you later then maybe when you go live again you know just I mean, when you, you want to advertise it later, however you want to do it, but you want to make sure that your customers see it because there are going to be some people that are on in the morning, afternoon, late evening, taking their kids to bed, whatever. So you want to make sure that they see it. So whether you do it the night before, the day of, what have you, this is your time to make sure that you are sharing about this, this live so that they know it's to come and then make it worth their while. Even in your Facebook store, you may want to advertise your live there. Um, if you have a VIP group or a business page, Page. You may want to make plan it all throughout those pages so people know they are reminded. Even if you want to tag in the comments some of your favorite customers or people that you want to see come, you can maybe put in the comments, hey, so-and-so, I'm going to be showing purple rings tonight. I know you love purple. You know, hope to see you then. Whatever it is that you want to do. But again, you want to get people in there. You want to remind them and you want to make sure they show up and they are excited to be there for your live. And again, giving incentives on each live to say, hey, the first four people that do this is going to get a prize or um, like one point I used to say in my VIP group, the first four members of my VIP that put the word VIP in the comments during my live is going to get entered for free shipping or something like that. You know, again, that would get everybody in there. They're like, I want to be the first one in there. I want to be the first four. So I'd say, OK, so and so. -and -so. All right. That's it. We got our first four VIPs. But again, that would get them there because they want whatever the perk is. So in your VIP group, you may say, hey, we're playing games tonight. I'm going to give away 10 free pieces to whoever shares the video or whoever has the most friends to join our show tonight. You're going to have to give away something for them to want to participate and for them to want to support you. But again, it's worth it if you can get those people on your show and watching. All right. So again, the more eyes on your jewelry, the better. The next thing you want to do is play games, play games to get people in there and pumped up and laughing and connecting. You want to make sure that you are entertaining. This is this is sometimes people's only relief. So sometimes customers, they look forward to watching you. They're, you're like their favorite TV show. They think you're cute. They think you're funny, charismatic, whatever. And they want to come back and they want to come back again and they want to come back again. So they kind of get addicted to the jewelry, but they also get addicted to you. They can't wait to see what you're going to say, what you're going to show, what you're going to do. So as you're going live and you're playing games, and you're keeping it engaging and entertaining for them. They're going to want to come back. They're going to want to sh share your video. So give them a reason to share. If you need ideas on games that you can play, there are ton, there are tons and tons and tons of videos on YouTube. So just go to YouTube and type in Facebook Games Paparazzi Live or something like that. And I promise you, you're going to get a ton of videos that you could choose from. Just pick and choose some games that you hear. Or maybe if you're watching lives and you see things that appeal to you, just pick and choose games that you could play and try. Not all games are going to work, okay? Not all games are going to work for your audience versus somebody else's audience. But as you build up your customer base, you can start playing games that work and that are that go over well with your customers. OK, so just again, start jotting down, get a notebook, start jotting down ideas of things that you want to start doing and just start implementing it. The next thing you want to do is, again, work your VIP group. Um, I suggest that everyone has a VIP group. And by that, I mean, on Facebook, you can start groups for segments of your 
of your world. So this is going to be just for your customers, your family, your friends, everybody. And again, invite them into your, your group. And in that group, you can show jewelry, you can go live selling. And that's a great way if you're nervous about going live and you kind of want to see what works, start in your VIP group because that's a safe space with a smaller number of people. And they all pretty much want to support you. They all are pretty much there because they love jewelry or that you think that they would be great for the business. So start there in a smaller group and start going live consistently there. Go live two, three times a week and just start getting your, your groove and going live, you know, trying to figure out what works, how the games may play or whatever, and invite your VIP people in that live. So make sure like, you know, when you go live, you can hit the invite button and you can invite them in to watch the live. So that's a great way for you to be able to immediately get some of those people in to watch your show. All right. So the last thing I want to suggest is text alerts. So this is something that you would need your customers to buy into, of course, as far, buy and not phys, you know, actually buy, but they would have to be willing to um, be on your text list. But there are text alert apps that you can add onto your phone um, where you put in a, a text message and say, hey, go on live in 20 minutes, see you guys there. And then it'll send that text blast out to all of your customers. So again, you'll need their email address or their phone number or however you wanna send out this blast. But they sign up for it and they will get alerts on their phone whenever you are doing something in your group. You can also teach your customers how to turn their notifications on. So how I do that is I'll say, hey, everybody, go up to the menu button in this group. There's a menu button on the top right or wherever it is um, on your end. Tell them to go there and then you say, turn your notifications to on. So every time I go live, you'll get the notification and you'll know to come in and join me. So again, you may want to do a post with them and just show them step by step how to turn their notifications on so that again, they will be right there. When you go live, they'll get the notification right on their phone so or their computer to know when you're going live. So again, you could do those text blasts, those email blasts, or you can um, have them turn their notifications on so that they are there. So when you are going live, they are ready to jump in and snag their cute pieces. Um, another thing that you can do with those alerts is you can also send them examples of what you're going to show. So say, hey guys, tonight I'm showing uh, red, white, and blue because 4th of July is coming up. Hope to see you guys soon. Again, they have in their mind what they're coming to see. All right, guys, we're doing a bling night. So all my blingy gals come in and let's party. Whatever it is, just it's game night. Let's play some games. Whatever it is that you can think of that's going to get them to come and get them to watch and get them to want to stay there and share your video, the better. So the better ideas you have, you know, um, and also, again, go to YouTube, look up ideas, you know, so don't just stop here, but keep searching for ways that you can make your lives interesting. And I promise you, the more that you try, the more that you're going at it, it's going to get better. So don't get discouraged. This is your encouragement of the day. Do not get discouraged if you don't have a lot of live, um, a lot of viewers on your live. Rome wasn't built in a day and neither will your business be. Most entrepreneurs have to put in at least two to three years of work, hard work showing up. So do not quit, okay? Do not quit on this business. Do not quit on yourself. The more you do anything, the more comfortable you'll get at it, the better you'll get at it. Trust me, I was just like many of you. I was definitely afraid to go live. I was so nervous about it. I had never sold a thing before a day in my life. I had never gone live before prior to paparazzi. But the more you do it, I'm telling you, it's just like with anything. Just like the first time you tried to ride a bike, I'm pretty sure nobody just rode around the park the first time. The first time you tried to skate, the first time you tried to whatever it is that you first try to do, you don't want to give up. You want to keep trying and keep going, but you want to try different things to get people in there, okay? So again, what I want to recommend to you is go back and start watching your own replays. Go back and watch your own videos. Go back and see what it is that you're doing or saying and take notes on yourself. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that I did this. Oh my gosh, I love that I do that. Just take notes and then that way you can mentally remember what you want to change and tweak for the next time. Another thing that I think is worth, you know, definitely keeping at the forefront of your mind is say a prayer over your business. So if you are somebody who believes in God, believes in prayer, believes in good energy, make sure that you are watching the things that you are saying. Because if you are saying to yourself negative things like, oh no, this is never going to work out. Nobody's going to come. You know, I'm going to fail at this. That's likely the energy that you will draw back to you. 
But if you say, oh no, this is going to be amazing. This is going to be awesome. Even if not a lot of people come to my show on the replay, it's going to be popping. I may get some sales even after this. Make sure that you are speaking life into your business. Speak positivity. Speak goodness over yourself. Say a prayer before each show and just say, you know what? Let me do this business in excellence and give my best. Let me try different things, but let me draw that positive energy into me. Because again, without that positive energy, you're not going to really be able to do very much. So again, it starts in your mind and having an attitude that says, I'm going to figure this out and it's going to be amazing. All right. Start there before anything and then you'll be good to go with the rest. Another tip is consistency. Okay. I cannot say this enough. Set a schedule for your live. So let's say I'm going to go live Monday and Thursday at 8 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's actually my live schedule. Stick to it. Okay. The more you're consistent, the more viewers are going to know that you're there. Because if you just kind of pop in every blue moon and just go live whenever you feel like it, they're not going to know how to find you. So what you should do is just make sure that you are consistent with how you're selling your jewelry. So they have you have a set schedule because again, you're like their favorite TV show. So set your schedule to how often you want to go live and stick to it. Let's say you say every Wednesday at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. I'm going to do flash sales. The more you do that thing, it's like a routine. People kind of get in a routine and they just expect you to be there. So imagine if somebody is looking for jewelry, they know, oh, my jewelry person, they're going to be live at this time. And I know I can get my jewelry fixed with them versus somebody else. But if they don't know if you're going to show up or not, you know, every blue moon, they're not going to come back. They're not going to know that you're there. So the more you condition them to know your schedule, all right, Monday nights, we're going to do this. So like, for instance, with me, Monday nights, I do glam and girl talk. Thursday nights, I do glam and game night. So whatever your thing is, you just incorporate that into your business. All right, Tuesdays is blingo night. We're going to play blingo. Fridays, we're going to do fat Fridays with fashion fix pieces. We're going to do, you know, whatever. Saturday is sassy Saturday at 12 o'clock. I'll see you there. You can come up with like a cute graphic, but whatever it is that you do, make sure that it fits in with your brand, that it gets people excited and that you're consistent. Now, that is like probably the most important thing that I can share with you guys, because again, if you're not consistent, your viewers are not going to keep coming. All right. So again, consistency is key. All right. So I hope that helps someone. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comments thank you again for watching and if you want to join my boss team love sparkle glow please message me and let me know or in the bio or the write-up of my video it shows you there a link on how to connect with me if you want to join my team or if you want to just connect with me by email or what have you so you guys have a great day and i'll see you all later bye